If you have been to an airsoft game before, you maybe have experienced the following situation by yourself. Right before the game day, you measured the energy of your replica with your chrono at home and it seemed to be no problem to match the rules of the field you want to play on. But then, at the chrono place, the marshals tell you your replica delivers too much energy and you're not allowed to play with it. How's that possible? In this video I'd like to tell you one potential reason that's, why ever, not so common to speak about. Stay tuned! Every serious airsoft field you want to play on should have determined rules on how much maximum energy is allowed for pistols, rifles and other replicas. First things first, in case the chrono on the field shows a different output value than your chrono at home, you most likely measured with a different BB weight, in different temperatures, with different gas in case of GBB or something similar. But if all of those factors did not change, the choice of the chrono itself also can have an impact on the actual measurement, and this in such a significant way that I wonder no one is talking about it. In order to demonstrate this for you, I'm going to measure the very same replica with the same BB weight on four different chronographs. Two times on the quite old fashioned UFC Pro chronograph, which is still quite common in the community. Once on the Acetec AC5000, which can be found for example in the Novridge Rep Shop or several other places, and on the Xcortec X3200 Mark III, which I bought for this test from Bigardi.com. Just to make sure you get me right here, this test is not about finding the best or worst chrono, but about showing that different chronos, even the same models, can show different energy level outputs. 10 shots on each device should be enough to point out the difference. On the first chrono, my own one by UFC, the energy output varies between 1.42 and 1.44 joules on 10 shots. Imagining a field maximum of 1.5 joules for example, this replica would be good to go. The second chrono, given to me for the test by my teammate Danzig, shout out in this place, is the exact same UFC Pro chronograph. As you see, the measured energy is up to 0.03 joules higher. No huge difference of course, but worth to note in my opinion. On the A-Stack chronograph, both minimum and maximum output energy values are again higher than measured before. In this case, our limit example of 1.5 joules on 0.32 gram BBs would be crossed. The last test chrono by Xcortec gave us the highest output energy together with the A-Stack and also the largest deviation of shot energy. Strictly spoken, the tested replica would also not be field legal on this one. The quick test you just saw proves that different chronos can offer slightly different output values of up to 0.1 joules in this case. 
in comparison to the highest energy deviation of the gun itself, this is more than three times as much. Of course, this won't turn a simple airsoft replica into an energy monster and vice versa, but you should keep that fact in mind, especially when you're about to adjust your replica's energy for the next game day's maximum limits. From my point of view, I can give you two essential tips following from those results. If you are a player, don't overdo it with maxing out the potential energy of your replica. As you probably don't know which chrono is used on the field of your choice, you are on the safe side when going, let's say, 0.1 joules lower than the field's limits, while barely noticing any difference in your shooting performance. In case you host airsoft games yourself and think about the chrono policies, maybe you would want to consider not making them way too strict. Of course, you should not allow players to the game who would seriously hurt the others with their replicas, but a tolerance of about 0.1 joules seems fair to me, as this would respect the chrono-based deviation in an acceptable degree. Okay guys, now I am curious about your thoughts on this topic. Have you experienced similar issues on an Airsoft game day before? I am looking forward to reading from you in the comment section. Until then, have a good one.